G'day folks, my name is Matthew Harrison, I'm a farming system scientist at the University of Tasmania. In this webinar we'll look at how to export data to Excel or a text file or any other file of your liking. So here we have a simulation, it doesn't really matter what simulation you have, but you have to run it first. So you right click, run AppSim, wait for it to run, hopefully it runs without error, which is good. Just double check your summary file to make sure you haven't got an error down the bottom. And that's generally good practice with any simulation. Simulation terminated normally, so that's good. All you do is you right click on data store, export to Excel. That's it. Just make sure that you haven't got the, any existing Excel file from AppSim already open. Generally you won't have if you're looking at this video. Uh, you wait for it to open. It's, it's opened up here, popped up. And what you have is a bunch of different tabs on the bottom. So the report is a general overview of the whole thing. So they're arranged in, uh, in filtered tables. Uh, so what this is saying here is a checkpoint. It's the simulation name. So I, in that simulation I just ran, I had observed data and simulated data. So one is simulated, one is observed. It's showing you the dates of the observation uh, and all the variables that you had in the output file. So these data here correspond to the data that I had in Excel in the report file. So if we go to report harvesting, these variables here are the ones that we see in the, app, in the Excel file. So we have maize above ground weight, maize above ground nitrogen, grain size and so on. We have different sheets. So we have a Another sheet one here, I don't find that sheet particularly useful. Maybe I'm not doing it in the right way. But the report is probably the most useful one. So the, the data in the report tabs corresponds to what's in your two reports here. So I've got two different reports, one for harvesting, one for daily. It doesn't really matter. The, the sheets in your Excel file will reflect those in your reports. So here it's got your simulation name, your simulation ID, the zone, the clock, which is probably the most important, and the variables of interest. So for the daily report, I simply had two variables. I had clock and I had phenology. So if I go back here to hit daily, I've got clock and I've got phenology on a daily time step because we're, we're putting it out at the end of the day. And that's it, and, and away you go. So it's, it's showing you all of the individual data, uh, pretty much everything you want. So very, very useful. So that's to do it to Excel. The other alternative is you go back here to data store, right click, you can export output to text files, export a summary to text files. So if you click on export output, export output to text files, a bit of a tongue twister there, it, it undergoes a pause because we're waiting for it to export to the text file. Uh, there's a pause there, so probably what's happened is that it's gone to your directory. So open up your directory and have a look in your, where your AppSim simulation is. Uh, and if you open it up, uh, you will see a bunch of different files. So what I have, just opening them up now, is I have a bunch of different Excel files that it's been exported to. So this is one of them. It's, ex it's exported several. So one for each report file, as well as others for, others for individual observed data that we've lo loaded in. So it's a, simply a different way of exporting your data. But that's, that's all there is to it, folks. Thanks for watching.